Nowadays, most of you would be getting an MSS in setting up checkpoint R77 band 30 lab. Basically, whenever we try to connect from checkpoint a smart dashboard, which is GUI client, to the management server, so we receive an error message that is connection cannot be initiated. Please make sure that the server is up and running and that you are defined as a GUI client. Let me show you in the lab environment. So my SMS server IP is 10.10.10.2, sorry, 1. And let me show you my own IP address. So let me verify IP reachability to the management server, whether I'm able to reach my management server or not. So it's very much in good shape and I can reach management server. So this is IP address of management server, username and password. So it's very common error message. I, I believe everybody would be receiving nowadays. Connection cannot be initiated. Please make sure that server 10.10.10.1 is up and running and that you are defined as a GUI client. Let me show you the reason why we are receiving this error message. So it's the web UI access of management server. Let me unlock this. And here, certificate authority status. So, okay, all right. Certificate authority status not established. Security management distinguished. No, nothing, no fingerprint at all. Okay. And uh, let me show you the GUI client. So, GUI client. So, host any. So, as there is no problem with the GUI client because any means any IP address from any IP address we can connect to the management server. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, what about the date and time? So, it's 13 March 2018 and time is 3.07 pm. Okay. So, so basically it's just because of uh, this common known problem which is year 2038 problem and it relates to representing time in many digital systems so basically um, uh, so this year 2038 problems relate to representing time in many digital systems as number of seconds pass since January 1 1970 and storing it as a 32 bit integer value. Such implementations cannot encode time after this. Let me take my pen. After 19th Zen 2038. It's just very similar to year 2000 problem. So this year 2038 problem is related to the 32 bit value configured in the timing okay so basically if uh, today is 13th march 2018 so whenever i see which is internal certificate authority server which is basically your management server it just generated this test certificate so its validity is 20 years so if today date is 13th March, it means the digital certificate must be valid up to 13th March 2038. And since there is no way, like there is no provisioning of like in, uh, reaching up to this date, like 13th March 2038, because uh, 32 base means to rest about 32. So after 19 January 2038 there would be issue with the timing and all that and that's why this management server SMS server is not able to generate this the certificate because its validity is 20 years so what's the work around like how we could uh, resolve this issue and how we can set up the home lab or uh, lab setup lab environment so what we can do we can set the windows current 
uh, date and uh, as well as your service date back to any date before 19th Zan 2018 and then we can uh, create a Zernet certificate this is the certificate once it is created then we can uh, we'll have to restart all checkpoint services by running this cp stop and cp start command and then easily we'll be able to connect to the management server let me show you in the real environment like how it's all going to happen so i have uh, ssh access to the management server and let let me overwrite sorry log database overwrite okay so date so it's 13th mass 2018 okay so let me set another date it's 2018 and then uh, in any date uh, you know, let's say uh, 05 or whatever 5th Jan 2018 okay now show date is 5th Jan 2018 let me change the date and time of my laptop as well so adjust the time time change it here uh, let's say 5th Jan uh, any date before 19th Jan 2018 so it's 5th Jan 2018 perfect now open up this menu cp config and if i uh, here like option number six certificate authority so just hit down six from your keyboard and the internal ca will now be initialized with the following name sms is it is okay or not yeah you may say like yes initializing internal certificate authority created successfully now even you would be able to check the fingerprint as well okay so let me show you the certificates fingerprint here it is no no need to save this Nine. now stop and start uh, all checkpoint services so run this cp stop command first And then CP is stopped. So it is very much in good shape now. So now date is 5th Jan and the proper fingerprint here. Now let me open up a smart dashboard from a laptop IP address 10.10.10.1 and then the password yes perfect right so do you want to approve this fingerprint as valid yes so it's working now so it is very much in good shape now we, we can connect to my admin server now Okay, all right. So it's working now, right? So we have one checkpoint object which maps to management server only. Now you can go ahead, you can create your security gateway object, you can establish it with a uh, gateway like get in between management server and gateway, and you can pick this for live and all that. No problem whatsoever. Now, what would happen if again I change? date time to the current date let's say current date which is 13th mass 2018 and uh, let me close this no not at all and uh, let's say set date Date two zero one eight, and here is uh, let's say 
13th March. That is March 2018. And definitely whenever you uh, reboot your Madman server, so the date will be set according to your uh, laptop or computer machine date and time. So now try to connect to Madman server again by using the same credential like username, password, and Madman server IP address. Here there is another error message and it states that trial period has expired on server 10.10.10.1. 10 10 10 so basically. Uh, uh, as soon as you restart the SMS with the current date, you may get the error of invalid license. And what's the way like how we can resolve this is you know, so either uh, just download the license from uh, checkpoint user center and install it onto SMS. Uh, another workaround is just again change the date and time of SMS and as well as your laptop machine to initiate before 19 Jan 2018 and regenerate the certificate and then after again do the same step like stopping and starting the services like uh, again just same step right any date prior to 19th Zan okay and then changing date to any date zero five cp config sorry cp config uh, option number six yes well, please enter the name of this internal CA and you can name it anything like CCS set at lab local anything okay so once it is done then stop all checkpoint services cp stop the next command is cp start even in expert mode, we can run like CP stop and then uh, semicolon CP, uh, CP stop all together just to restart all checkpoint services. But for that, we need to get into expert mode because uh, I think this command is not allowed here from this glitch mode. So it's done now. We are ready to go now. So we are good to go now. Username, password. IP and yes connected so we are very much in good shape so even what you can do you can uh, uh, before starting your virtual machine in uh, like either ESXi server or VM workstation first change your date and time of your GUI client machine to any date like prior to 19 Jan 2018 and once it is set and if you are running your uh, uh, virtual appliance onto the same machine like onto the same GUI client machine then start your uh, SMS server means first change the date and time of your laptop or desktop onto which VM workstation software would have been installed and then after the power on your virtual machine right so then there, there won't be any need to you know like by uh, changing uh, date and time every time right okay and definitely uh, uh, while browsing any site like google or anything you might receive an error message because you know, like because date and time is not synchronized so there could be some sort of uh, certificate error message all right